I'm Nikki, I'm a research assistant in the Cancer Genome Project at the Wellcome Trust Sanger Institute in Cambridge. My job has a lot of variation to it and it really keeps things fresh. It can be extracting DNA and RNA from tissues and bloods, it can be setting up loads and loads of reactions on a robot, or it can be quite computer and admin paper based. Extractions are my favourite part of the job because you get to see the science happening right in front of you. We normally get a tumour or a blood sample in. Sometimes we get normal tissue as well. And what we do first is we break it up into really small chunks so the chemicals we use can actually get into the cells and pull the DNA out. Once we've got it out, we check the, what we've got and it's good quality and then it goes off for sequencing. We use robots in the lab to make our lives easier. The other day I had a ticket in for 1,344 reactions, which if I had to do by hand would have taken weeks. But with the robots, it's a lot easier. You can just tell it what to do. It goes and does it for you, and it only took me a couple of days. In the lab, we have a ticketing system. There's two sides to it, a digital side and a paper side. The digital side normally comes first. And on that, we have a big list of everything that's going on or will go on. And you take the highest priority ticket, and it's really simple, just drop down and take it. Then the paper side comes in. You take that through with you into the lab and sign it off things as you're doing them. If you're not done by the end of the day, you put it in the in progress drawer. And then when it's finished, you take it and put it in the finished drawer and then update the digital one and say everything's done. So I really like it because it gives nice structure to the lab and you know exactly what's going on. I have a degree in genetics and my first job shortly after graduating was at a cold and flu research company. I was running the lab at a satellite screening site and because it was satellite, it was quite lonely. I was the only person that was always in the lab. And it got to the point where I was like, I'm not really using my degree. Genetics and Sanger, it's kind of a goal. It's a really big deal if you do genetics to get here. So I kept trying and trying and trying. I think I had about three interviews and eight applications and eventually I got here. I really enjoy what I'm doing now. I'm finally at a place where I'm using my degree and it's paid off all that hard work. Um, but I'm now at the point where I've got to decide if I want to stay at the Sanger and carry on working, growing with them, or if I want to go back into education, get a master's, get a PhD, and go and get more into the academic and research side of things myself but either way I've got something on my CV and that's going to give me so many opportunities that I wouldn't have had otherwise.